Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. My name is Alex and first of all, I want to thank you for following and watching this channel. I really appreciate it. You just keep me going. Second, if you find this channel and stick with this channel, you're probably a creative person who likes to learn graphic design programs, video editing, photo editing and website and logo design and I need to say I'm just like you guys I love to learn how things works and I love to share my experiences with you for this day I release over 70 tutorials on different topics of graphic design and motion graphics and website design and I do not want to stop I want to create even more logo design tutorials, logo reveals, motion graphics and share it with you. So in today's tutorial we are gonna create this logo design and I hope you enjoy it. If you do enjoy, do not forget to subscribe, thumb up and share this video with your friends. So let's dig inside Adobe Illustrator and create this logo. So I have this blank 1920 by 1080 document and I'm gonna fill it with the grid. So Ctrl quote or Command quote on your Mac to show your grid. Ctrl Shift quote or Command Shift quote to snap to the grid. You can also use view and find these options here. For those who follow along this tutorial, I'm gonna show you my grid settings. So go to the edit preferences guide and grids and here you can find that I set my grid line every 120 pixels and I set the number of subdivision to 6. Click OK and let's start building our logo. Grab your ellipse tool, hit once on your artboard and set the width and height to, of your ellipse to 240 pixels. Click OK. We have this nice ellipse. Get rid of the fill. Set stroke to black. And let's say it's gonna be one point black. Then we need to create a bunch of smaller copy and all of these copies should be one cell smaller. Ctrl C, Ctrl F to make it duplicate, then holding Alt and Shift key or Option and Shift key, decrease the size of this duplicate, then Ctrl C, Ctrl F to make another duplicate and do it again and do it again. So we produce a three copies of this initial circle. Now we can group this course group I want to set the stroke size of these circles to 0.2 points and I want to make a duplicate of this group in order to do that double click on your selection tool set the vertical value to to minus 180 pixels click copy to produce a duplicate and as you can see all our lines are intersected in the middle. You can align them horizontally to the center and now we need to group this result. Ctrl C, Ctrl F to produce a duplicate and holding shift key rotate this duplicate right like so so in order now we are approaching to the hardest part of our tutorial so be very patient we need to grab our shape builder tool so we need to start with inner sector of our top circles and combine it with the outer sector of our bottom circles and then we need to combine the medium ones and combine our outer sector of our top circle with the um, inner sector of our bottom circle. So we have this nice letter S shape.
I want to scale it a little bit more. Now we need to do the same with our left and right circles. But be very patient, do not dissect this letter S design that we have already done. So I want to start with my left inner sector till so. Use shape builder tool to combine all the shapes inside my medium sector of my left circles and then I want to go to my outer sector and combine this as well. So and we need to do the same task here on our right and the same here. So then we need to delete all the necessary stuff inside this uh, inner circles to activate the subtracting mode and start clean up all of your smallest circles on the top, bottom, left and right. And we are ended with this result. Make sure that all is ok. No, it's not. We need to <coughs> a command A, co control A to select all, grab your shape builder tool and clean up a little bit all of your design assets. Now you can go to the groups and find if you have any unnecessary elements, small tiny scenes that can spoil your design. No, I haven't. I'm pretty happy with that. And I want to ungroup all of my circles to control my shapes and control the colors. So now select your outer circle and swap fill in stock. And we need to select this inner letter S and swap fill and stock and do the same here. Then I, I want to go to the unfill it and find my unfill it shapes. Fill them first with black, then double click to open the color picker and find my white color. So, and this is our design for today. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do, do not hesitate to thumb up, subscribe, share it with your friend. I want to thank you for following to the end. Have a nice day.